Hello and welcome to Heart and Health. My name is Dr. Shailesh Singh. I'm a cardiologist and I usually talk about heart diseases on this channel, Heart and Health. How to measure blood pressure at your home? This is a very common question that we have been asked in our OPDs. So this short discussion will be on those tips that I want to give you about measuring blood pressure at home. So first of all, why do we want to measure blood pressure at home? Why do we advise it? altogether so basically there are three indications in which we would like you or we would like anybody to measure his or her blood pressure at their home first is diagnosis of white coat hypertension white coat hypertension is a phenomena where you are consistently getting hypertension or high blood pressure values when the blood pressure is measured in the hospital and when you measure it at your home the blood pressure readings are normal this is usually seen in borderline hypertensives and we want to be actually sure that does the patient actually deserve antihypertensive drug or not. The second indication for measuring blood pressure at your home is for management of resistant hypertension. So I'll not go into the technical definition of resistant hypertension, just understand this when the hypertension is difficult to treat, if despite of giving multiple drugs, it is resistant hypertension and when we are treating it, we actually want to know that the readings that we are seeing inside the hospitals are true readings and they are not because of some anxiety or some other effects which is which may be there in the hospital, some white coat effect. So we actually want to be sure about it. That is why we advise the patients with resistant hypertension to measure their blood pressure right there. The third indication and the most important indication is that we want to see the, how is the overall control of blood pressure. Does the patient need any other drug or the treatment needs to be de-escalated? All these things can be decided on the basis of home monitoring of blood pressure. Usually, it is advised to take two to three readings at one time. These readings should be at least one minute apart from each other. The readings should be taken twice in a day, in the morning and in the evening. In the morning, the readings should be taken before breakfast and before taking the blood pressure medicines. In the evening, the readings should be taken before dinner. Should you take your blood pressure immediately after rising up? No, this is not advisable. You should not be measuring your blood pressure immediately after you wake up. So if you've got the habit of exercising immediately after you get up, what reading should you take? before the exercise or after the exercise. So we do not want post exercise or after exercise values. They are not of much relevance from clinical perspective. We would like you to measure your blood pressure and then go for exercise. What type of foods should you avoid while you are going to measure your blood pressure? So caffeinated drinks such as cold drinks and coffee should be avoided. Alcohol and tobacco, these should be avoided. Food altogether should be avoided before measuring blood pressure. At times, full bladder can also lead to increased blood pressure values. So it is advisable to be empty bladder before taking the blood pressure values. Person who's blood pressure is being measured should be seated in calm and comfortable position for at least four to five minutes before the blood pressure reading is being taken. Ideally, the person whose blood pressure is being measured should not be thinking about stressful things or should not be talking while the blood pressure is being measured. The arm of the person whose blood pressure is being measured should be properly positioned and the cuff should be at the level of the heart. One more important thing that should be remembered is that cuff should be placed on bare skin and not over clothing. Also, it is important to remember that a rolled over sleeve which can constrict the arteries of the upper limb can also lead to fallacious readings and this type of blood pressure measurement should also be avoided. Automatic BP devices are universally available and they are being used for measurement of blood pressure at homes. One important thing to remember is if the person who is suffering with blood pressure has atrial fibrillation or AF or if it, whatever you may want to call it, then these machines, the automatic machines do not give very validated blood pressure measurement. These machines have not been validated for use in patients with atrial fibrillation, manual readings are better in these kind of patients. One more important thing which is to be considered while buying or taking the blood pressure machine is the circumference of your arm. If your arm is of normal diameter or is of normal thickness, then the normal blood pressure test is okay for you. If your arm is very broad, very wide, 
very large size, then it is advisable to buy a larger cuff. Similarly, if the arm is very thin or small, it is advisable to buy a smaller cuff for accurate BP measurements. We'll stop this discussion here only. We'll be talking about some more points in management of blood pressure and things the patients and their caregivers should be uh, knowing about uh, blood pressure in coming episodes of Heart and Health. Till then, stay tuned and keep watching. Thank you for listening.